Welcome back one and all to D&D &D Tactics. The party has advanced to level 5. For the fighters, this doesn't mean much, but for the spellcasters, oh, it's a good one. They now have access to level 3 magic. So for clerics, they get access to a lot of removal spells. Remove blindness, deafness, disease, curse, that kind of thing. And also dispel magic, which Serena now is stocked up on. Wizards, it's just the best. Level 3 magic is where all the classic spells are for D&D. Fireball, Lightning Bolt, Haste, Slow, a lot of good stuff in 3rd level. Faltori right now has got Fireball and Haste, but I'll be definitely going back to 3rd level magic when he levels up. Still a lot of good stuff in there to get for a spell book. We are in the East Teens right now for a particular weapon that I want to get for Rain. It is a Composite Longbow plus 1. She has a composite longbow right now, Masterwork, but this one has a strength bonus on it. Allows her to add her strength modifier to the damage up to plus two, which she has. So this, in effect, increases her damage by three, uh, greatly increasing her minimum damage cap, which is the best. So, let's get that equipped. And done. All right, let's proceed then to the next area, the Tower of Crows. A haunted tower in the southern marshes marks the seat of an ancient family of nobles, the Severin Kagro. No one visits the tower now. Adventure, the tower. Explore the haunted Tower of Crows for clues to the name Aetheror. So this is an uh, adventure meant for fourth level. We're coming in as five, so this shouldn't be terribly difficult. You know, he says before the adventure starts. Warlock, you're in front. We'll have uh, Faltori take up this spot here. Serena in the middle. Uh, Carry up front here. Zarek, and then uh, Rain. This tower has many floors. I'll wager these Frankegro are near the summit. Then we better find the stairs up. All right, Serena, you know the drill. Let's bless the party. All right, uh, we're at kind of a diagonal right now. Uh, Faltore, let's swap out your staff uh, for a torch. And then the dog is level two still. I guess he didn't level with everyone else. All right, uh, Serena, let's do some more light. On Kaori. So sparkly. Okay, Kaori has light. Um, let's advance and see what she finds. Weird diagonal here. Boink, 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 boink. There we go. Oh, hello, zombie. Hello, three zombies. Where are the other two? Oh, they're behind me. Sneaky, sneaky zombies. Never could trust a zombie. All right. Um, well, how about a magic missile? So also hitting level five, magic missile against another missile. Now hits for three bolts for 3d4 plus 3 damage, unblockable. Bam! Uh, yeah, end your turn there. Zerak, you can hit it for 3 damage, right? Well, you can hit it for 1. Uh, we're gonna move you out a little bit. There we go. Okay, zombie moves up. Oh, don't hit the dog. Good. Serena, let's do some turning. Okay, so turn dead should zap all of these. I think they're all within range, even if just barely. All right, turn. Boom. Nice, she nailed all three with her turn on dead. Well, that was easy. Hopefully it's just more of those. 
All right, let's move the party up. Faltori moves up with everyone else. Uh, oh, you see a zombie. Oh, it's one of those warrior zombies from um, from the barrels. We'll end your turn. Yes, I know. Gasp. Gasp. Oh, no. It's a zombie. Zerak will move you up. Or right up behind the front line there. If we can just angle you. There we go. Alright. Um, dog. Boink, boink, boink. Move up. Warrior lock. Let's head up and... Uh, Ask this zombie a question. The question is, how many more hits can you take, zombie? Ray misses. Uh, Faltore. Let's do some disruption here. Disrupt undead. For four damage. Yeah. You got a pretty poor chance of hitting Royal Lock. Uh, oh. Oh, another zombie. Um, can I equip your mace? Yeah, okay, good. Koei runs up and smikes, sm smikes, sm smites the zombie for nine damage, and Royal Lock takes it out for her nice overkill. <laughs> we'll just move right on up to that zombie up here. That diagonal's throwing me off. All right, Rain, can you uh, can you hit it? For two damage. Oh, that re piercing resistance is just awful. Move up Faltori and just let him sit there. I've got more disrupt on dads, but I'm gonna hold on to them just a little bit longer. Ha! Uh, Serena, move up. Can you hit this thing? For damage reduced. Because it is in Warning Star. Four damage. This is a resilient zombie. Royal Lock takes it out. Hmm, double doors. Never a good sign. I will stack them in front of the door here. I'm gonna put away this uh, this uh, morning star so she can cast just in case. Zarak. Rain. And Faltori. All right, everyone's in position. Um, except for the dog. Come on, dog. Okay, let's pop that door. Oh, we have a ghast and a white. Okay, both of whom are rather advanced undead. So, let's take them in order here. Um, a white is bad news because they can cause negative levels. Which basically makes the character act as though they were a level less according to the negative levels that they actually have. So... Um, and if a character takes more negative levels than they have positive levels, then they will die instantly. Regardless of how many hit points they have, having negative levels is terrible. So that's why they're awful. Ghasts are awful because they get three attacks and can cause paralysis. 
And in tabletop, they also have a like a poison gas move as well. Anything that's around them uh, has difficulty attacking them. Because they just smell so bad. Nice hit by Kiori. Oh, here comes the white. Don't hit me with negative levels, please. Still, it's not as bad as they were back in second edition, where a negative level actually reduced the level by one. It's just level, XP, all gone. You have to get it all back again as you would normally through adventuring. In third edition, negative levels will dissipate over time. Nice, he cleaves. Killing the gas and hurting the white for a 16. Nice job, Roylock. Uh, dog, you will stand there. Zerak misses. Okay, Rain, will you miss? I doubt it. Bam! Damage for nine. Take it out, Kiori. Okay, dead white. The best white is a dead white. Wow, that's a creepy looking portrait. Looks like a vampire. Yep, or an elf who's, um, who's looking kind of pale. Man, where's a Belmont when you need one? Alright, I uh, carry let's stack up next to the door here. Royal lock, up you go. Wait, I saw. Is there a room back into. Oh, there's a door down there. Leads to a chest. Interesting. Hey, Zerak. Do you want to find some treasure? Maybe lots and lots of gold. Move up with the dog. I'll have Serena positioned behind the fighters for another turn undead. And Faltori, go help out Zerak. You know he needs it. Okay, open the door. Uh, ooh, I see a trap. Uh, let's try to take out that trap. Disable device. Miss. Let's try it again. We're not advancing until you get that trap down. Come on, Zerak. There you go. Alright, Faltori, move in. Let's see if that uh, chest is locked. It is, okay. Um, well, Zerak, this is why you're here. Alright, got it. 95 gold for the party. We have a Masterwork Trident, a Cloak of Charisma, plus two, and a Scroll of Dark Vision. Okay, that cloak is definitely going to go on Serena. Um, in fact, let's have her come down and collect this. Uh, so, well, Tori, you'll take the uh, Dark Vision. This is a Arcane. Okay, yeah, you'll take this, the Scroll of Dark Vision. Uh, Zerak. Grab that trident. And then we'll call Serena down and have her grab that cloak. Hey, Serena. You want a cool cloak? I know you do. So... Charisma is good for her because it affects her churn uh, effectiveness. Uh, if you've got a person in your party that functions off of Charisma for their spellcasting, say a sorcerer, that's really good for them too. It's also good for bards. Or paladins. Uh, 
All right, so Serena, let's get you, let's get you back up with the party here. I see another uh, set of chests over there. Uh, looks like there's a door right there that I can't. Must be from another room. Okay, she has a cloak. Nice. Oh no, a zombie! Uh, let's ready versus approach. Serena, I'm gonna move up and have you cast light on Royal Lock on your next turn. Zombie moves up and gets hit for 10. Zerak misses. And Rain takes aim. One hit for seven, damage reduction. Seven, though, is not bad with damage reduction. That's pretty good. Uh, Faltore. One zombie, I'm not concerned. You'll sit this one out. Ooh, kind of a minimum damage on that, only five. Royal Lock misses. Okay, Royal Lock has been enlightened. And the zombie takes a swing. Akiori who dodges. Come on, guys. It's only one little zombie. With six HP left, I better do a double tag just to be sure. It's damage reduction and all. Only two. There we go, Kairi. Nice swing. Is that another double door? It is. Man, these double doors are starting to make me twitch. There's too many of them. I just know that there's going to be a boss behind one of these things sooner or later. And you your turn. Let's have Serena move up next so she can turn on dead. And we'll have Faltore move up behind her. With Zerak behind that. And then the dog. All right, let's pop that door, Royal Lock. An elemental? An earth elemental? Huh. What are you doing here? Just just hanging out. Well, alright. Try not to soil myself. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. Warlock. Hits for eight. Nice. Takes another hit for six. So, Earth Elementals are not undead. So, uh, turning undead will do nothing on. Or yeah, will do nothing on them. So, skipping her turn. Rain hits it for two da for eighteen damage. Two hits. Well, it takes a smack for six. Zerak, can you hit it again? I see no, one's ident no one has identified it yet either. Okay. Uh, dog and turn. Kaori. Misses. Got him. Okay, nice job, Rain. The elemental is now taking a dirt nap. <laughs> Sorry. Alright, Royal Lock moves up. 
Um, anything over here? Another Earth Elemental. Again, just sort of hanging out. What are they even doing here? I mean, this is a haunted mansion. Where's I'd expect more ghosts than Earth Elementals. Zerak, move up. Let's get behind this thing. Warlock hits her for eight. And gets missed. Good. Three and I thought we're gonna need you for this one. Oh, well, apparently you saw it though. Dog, you two just sit this one out. Carry, move up and assist Roylock. Um, move one more. Okay. And rain misses. Okay, we're gonna swap out Xerax's bow for his rapier. Now, normally you can't sneak attack elementals because, like undead, hitting they have no real discernible anatomy. So theoretically, I should not be able to sneak attack him. I'm not gonna chance it. That door might be. Uh, might be something else hiding behind that door. I'd rather not pull more monsters in than I than I have to. Six damage. Miss by rain again. All right, Zerak. Let's see if you can sneak attack this thing. He does! With a critical, even! 22 damage! Well, I guess he, uh... I guess he found its anatomy. Jeez. Open door. Okay, it looks like a couple of chests. And a door on the opposite side. Zerak, I do not trust this room. Nothing yet? Alright. Oh, I knew it. There's a trap in that room. Valtori, open the chest. Actually, Serena, where's, where's Roylock? I think you're hurt. I'll have to get him healed up a little bit. Alright, Carrie moves into the room. Warlock is down by 12. Let's top him off. Clerical Cure for... Uh, we'll do Divine Favor. Well, 8. Still not bad. Warlock move in. Uh, that chest is locked. Okay. Can you disable device from where you are? Yes, good, got it. And the chest is leather armor plus one, nice. Braces of armor one, very nice. Potion of bark skin. Take that all. I don't think I need the leather armor plus one. My roguish characters already have studded leather, masterwork, which would equal out to the same AC. Alright, chest open. 
18 gold, and inside we have a mithril shirt. Sweet. Give that to one of the other rogues, then. Maybe to Zerak. I'll stack up here by the door. Uh, Doggo, get out of there. And we'll have Serena move up behind Kiora in case we need to uh, get rid of any undead. I feel like I'm missing someone. I thought so. Rain, get over here. Gotta have my sniper support. We have a ghoul. All right, so ghouls work a bit like ghasts. In fact, ghouls are sort of the weaker version of the ghast. Ghouls also have three attacks, um, and their main gimmick is that they can paralyze. Typically, any new adventuring party... Oh, nice. That was down easy. Um... A ghoul will be one of the first major threats that any new party will face. One of the first enemies that can attack thrice and can cause a status effect uh, paralyzed, which is just awful for a fledgling party. Stack up in the door. Hello, Earth Elemental. Alright, uh, Warlock, ready versus approach. Hits for 16. Nice hit. Uh, we're going to do a 5 foot step behind uh, the elemental here for a flanking bonus. And Kiori bashes it for 10. Can you see it, Rain? Yes, you can. Excellent. Then how about a full attack? One hit for 4. Uh, Zerak cannot flank, unfortunately. But he can move up move up and base it. Move up Serena. Um, dog. Just catch up with the party. I really don't want to have that dog in the middle of combat. I'm just really worried that's going to get killed at some point. Uh, nothing useful here. Okay. Um, we're like, we're going to five foot step over here. And that will flank with, with Zarak. Oh, Kerry gets smacked for two hits. 17 damage. Ow. She returns the favor and uh, kills the Earth Elemental. Alright, let's uh, heal her a little bit. Clerical Cure. Delay Poison. Sacrifice on Kaori. Maxing her out. Okay, a claustrophobic hallway. The best kind. Okay, I'll move up Rain into a sniper position. Looking down the hallway. And, um, hey, Faltori, take out that chest, would you? It is locked. Zerak moves up and misses the lock, apparently. Let's try that again. There we go. Ooh, a wand of burning hands, potion of mage armor, and a potion of blur. This has got Faltori's name written all over it. Score. Alright, so we have a hallway here. 
leads to another set of double doors. Looks like there's a larger room beyond it, too. Alright, so Serene, I want you up behind the front row of fighters to uh, turn undead if necessary. And we'll have rain over here as well. Followed up with Faltori. Okay, um, oh, I suppose get the dog in here too. There we go. All right, uh, let's pop that door. A white, a zombie and a white. Let's aim for that white. Kill it. Kill it fast. Kill it faster than that. Okay, ready versus approach. Serena, can you turn from where you are right now? Let's try it. Uh, well, she didn't destroy anything, but she made both the zombie and the other white uh, too scared to advance. So, good. Ready versus approach. This would be a perfect situation for a fireball. But, a fireball will hit anything that it encounters on the way to its goal, including other party members. So I actually do not want to throw it. Although it would be a really fun idea. We're going to end his turn here. Rain, full attack. You can only hit the one white, it looks like. Now, because she hit the white, it broke the churn effect, so it is no longer affected by churn. Did they not advance? Okay, he provokes attacks from the two fighters. And hits Roylock. And misses Roylock. Good. Whew. Took a bunch of damage in return, though. Roylock hits it for 11. I've got a scroll I think I can use. How about a scroll of Disrupt Undead on the white? It takes one damage. Well, that was a good try. Let's swap out your rapier for your bow. Zarek. Turn. Oh, you are out of ammo, Rain. Uh, let's fix that. And we're going to aim at this white. And we're going to miss at that white. Alright, Corey, let's aim at the white and then cleave. Nice. On to the zombie. Uh, to miss, though. Critical. No, not not a critical. Cleave, though. Nice damage. Ending turn. Serena. Uh, no one's really hurt. Don't want to use another turn. So we'll just end your turn. 10 damage from Royal Lock. Good. Ending your turn. Faltore. I think I have another... Disrupt and no, I don't. Uh, how about an acid splash? Just a splash of acid for two damage. Uh, Zura, I can't see anything. How about now? Nope, you, you're stuck, dude. 
Nice dodge by Kaori. Warlock is missed. Oof. Do not want to deal with negative levels. Uh, both of these are easy for Rain to hit. Let's go with the white. It is the greater threat. Nails it for 10. Alright. Carry aim for the white, but cleave to the zombie. Dealing 7 damage. Nice. Ah, Rylock is supposed to not miss. Uh, we'll do a 5 foot step up. And ending your turn. Uh, boy. Faltori, you just got to wait. Uh, Zira can move up, move up into the space here that Roylock uh, no longer occupies. But if he fires his bow, he's going to provoke, so he will just end his turn. Oh, Kara takes a stab for four damage. Oh, Rand can no longer see her target. Nope. And she can't move, so she is stuck. The perils of a confusing hallway. Okay, good. Carrie got it. Alright, let's advance. Looks like a like a classroom, kinda. Ooh, a single door and a double door. Okay, no traps. Yet. And as any good DM says, it's not that you don't find any traps, it's that you don't see any traps. You got Faltori up there. Serena. There you go. And Rain in the middle where she can. Shed some arrows. That's how that sound goes, right? Okay. Dog, in you go. Alright. Can I see beyond this door? Yeah. Ooh, hey, there's a chest over there. traps that I can see anyway. Right, Roylock move up to Kaori. Alright. Uh, Battle X plus one. What else do we have? Scroll of Acid Arrow. Nice. Potion of Dark Vision. We'll take it all. I'm not going to want to keep that battle axe. It'll make for good cell fodder. Or vendor trash, as the term is. Okay, double doors. Here we go again. Looks like we're facing a wall. And... A darkened hallway, two darkened hallways. Okay, Royal Lock, let's go inside. Oh, okay, that's a wall. There's an earth elemental. Down the hallway. Okay, Royal Lock, uh, move up. We will, okay. Come and get me, earth, earth elemental. Rain takes a shot and misses. Oh, a skeleton archer. A 
classic D&D &D monster, the good old Scale Archer. Okay, Warlock hits Earth, Earth Elemental for 12. Zerak moves up. And can you hit the other? No, you can't even target the skeleton. Not that arrows would do much against the skeleton. Okay, I don't think I need the torch anymore. So, Faltoria, let's move you up, and let's get your sling out. We're like blocks for, blocks two hits, nice. Miss. Two scale archers. Ah, ah, ah. Nice dodge. Was that two attacks? That's kind of scary. They shouldn't have two attacks. Or like smites for nine. Nice. Zerak hits for eight with a bow with a tough shot. Good job. Serena will swap out. Let's see here. Equip. Get rid of your. Just drop your shield. We'll get her crossbow in here next round. Well, that takes nine damage. What are you at now, Royal Lock? You're down by 13. Nice, Ray nails it for 12. Nice overkill value, actually. Okay, she moves up, gets a beat on the Skell Archers. Yeah, they're attacking twice. Uh, maybe they'll do not much damage to a dog. We'll just get right up in their faces. As fast as we can. Force them to waste their churn. Uh, or provoke. By firing while they're in melee. Okay, just move on up. Get up to those scale archers. That's a big hole in the tower right there. Yeah, just hanging out. I can see some trees beyond. Oh, that's the that's the marshland down there. Cool. Okay, we'll get her up there. Faltori. Whoop. You too. It's an awfully long range for a sling, but let's see if you can do it. Yes, you can. Nails up for three. Uh, it's going to be crap damage because she's firing. Oh, wow. Still a damage reduction. Nice. She kills it. Or re-kills it, I suppose. Dog misses. Ending turn. Skeleton fires while in melee again. Misses. Yeah, the dog hit her for one because it fired a bow while in melee. Nice. Carrie smashes it over the head for five. But she's using a slashing weapon and therefore damage is reduced. Yeah, 
was a mission. It's a nice thought. Okay, he's moved up. Let's get your light crossbow equipped, Serena. And you don't really need to advance, but might as well, just to catch up. She takes a shot and hits her for two. Dog misses. And this cousin finally swaps out his bow for a club. But not soon enough as Carrie bashes it down. Oh, this is a staircase leading up to a new area, it looks like. Oh, that's the end of the adventure. We made it up the tower. Oh, there's another map up here. Okay, well, we will stop this one right here and now. We will tackle this next map next time in the Tower of Crows Part 2 of D&D Tactics. Thank you all for watching.